uh, blessings from Deep in Love Ministries here in Peru and our churches. Uh, it's kind of difficult to structure my thoughts. Um, and the many things I would like to say and share, you know, we've hosted many um, missionaries over the past 23 years. Hundreds of missionaries have come through our doors. But of those hundreds of missionaries, um, people only remember a few. Mark DeVito, um, Brian Cockfield, John Russ, you know, just just a few. And uh, from Cornerstone, actually. So, and we've hosted some very large um, ministries. You know, some people come down to get a notch on their, their, their missionary belt. But, but belt. But, you know, Mark came down and their team came down and they were in the moment engrafted in into whatever the holy spirit was doing so i really appreciated uh, you know that and as a missionary um I, I didn't have a place to lay my head in america because i gave up everything to come to the mission field and you know when i went back i was always welcome never felt uneasy um, unwelcome at Mark's or, or Brian's place. And so, you know, I didn't feel like I, I needed to walk on eggshells. And those things are so important to, um, you know, missionaries. And they go a, a, a long way. It's the really small things, you know. And so when I had to return to, you know, raise funds, um, I was always welcome. You know, the people here love Mark. They love the way that he teaches. They love this dynamic style. Um, and he was not forgotten, is not forgotten. Um, people were amazed at the teachings, the level of his teachings. And Mark was so comfortable no matter where he was, if it was a nice hotel or, a, or some shack. Uh, he'd just jump in a hammock and, and just go to sleep. Mark was just comfortable in his own skin. Um, they provided food and, and materials for the pastors and um, and, and so much. And, and, and those pastors, we're talking hundreds of pastors, um, uh, really appreciate that. You know, I know Mark wore many hats, and but he, he really filled the shoes of giants. And I consider him a friend, um, somebody I esteem, appreciate, respect, you know, love and honor. And um, so today our love goes out to family, friends, and those that knew him. Um, I like to close with um, Ezekiel 22:30, And I think a lot of people, you know, know this scripture where it says, God said, I look for um, a man to stand in the gap, and I could I could not find him. You know that that couldn't be said of Mark, um, because Mark stood in the gap. Um, I can I can bear witness. Um, Fifteen years of working together with Mark in the jungle. Uh, Mark stood in the gap, not here, but just so many different places and ministries and. In groups and and you know he stood in the gap and so he's enjoying his heavenly reward and though painful I rejoice though painful I rejoice that he's finally gotten his reward it may not have been how we want it or, or how we want it he's there and he's got it so god bless everyone listening to this and um i pray that the holy spirit will continue to be with uh everyone today this is pastor Vinnie humphreys missionary